Today, we're gonna be going over a BMX movie. And no, not that movie. This one you may have heard about if you were in BMX in the early 2010s or so. It's called Heroes of Dirt. The first time I ever heard about this project was actually in like 2010 or 11. Before it was even called Heroes of Dirt, it was actually originally called Accelerate. So I was really excited that a BMX movie was coming out. I heard it was made by BMX riders and I thought the trailer was cool, even though I admit now it's yeah, just a little bit corny. I need your help. I really messed up. <laughs> but I didn't care, I was hyped. But at some point they changed the title to Heroes of Dirt and that's what we have now. So I had to dig up this memory, but I do remember that this movie struggled a lot to be released. So they ended up launching a campaign on Indiegogo. That didn't quite pan out either. They didn't get enough donations. And because of that, I, along with many other people, kind of lost interest in the movie. I accepted that the movie would probably not come out. So I stopped following the project and I haven't really thought about it since until recently. You see, I think it was sometime last year, I decided to look it up and I discovered that the movie actually came out in, I think, 2015, right? It's kind of hard to tell because it was posted to YouTube in 2022. But if you look on somewhere like Amazon, I believe it still says 2015. So I'm not sure what's going on there. I saw that you could buy or rent it on YouTube, but I didn't really want to. At this point, I was no longer interested. So I just kind of left it as is. Skip forward to now though, and I'm interested again. So I looked it up on YouTube I was ready to give it a watch finally and I noticed that the movie is free now. It's been free for over a year. I've been missing out. Now it's my turn to watch it and I'm gonna bring you guys along with me. Finally, my one shot at proving to haters that I have what it takes. I've been trying to become a top pro for over 10 years. That's so crazy. In the trailer, it's like one of the first things they say. In a world where the rock stars of BMX thrive lies a young man with a passion to rise up from obscurity and become the greatest in the world. Heroes of Dirt is an underground BMX jumping series that puts top amateurs, like me, against the best pros in the world. For some of these guys, this is just another opportunity to pocket some cash. But for me, this is the biggest event of my life. This is gonna be something, all right? Sure would be a shame if you fell. Hey, Blue, it's Jimmy. Put Finn on the phone. Um, Tell him it's an emergency. I'm in the middle of something important right now. Well, then you better get out of it. Who is this? Don't be stupid with me. We got Blue. What? Oh, okay, this is interesting. I didn't know that this takes place in the future. I don't know if that makes any sense, but we're not going in a chronological order here. We must have a flashback coming soon. I don't hang with the kid anymore. Blue is going to get hurt really bad. Oh, <laughs> How's that feel? Finn? Finn? Oh, I've never seen like that kind of torture before. That's crazy. How could I give up everything I've worked so hard for to help somebody who screwed me over? Oh, here we go, baby. I grew up in the shadow of a roller coaster in Allentown. Some say it takes faith. Faith in themselves, faith in a higher power. It's also about control and mastery of that terror. Yo, that was sick. I don't actually know who this dude is, but he's really good. <laughs> You know. Come on, Finn. You know if anybody saw us right now, I'd have to write you a citation. Take your bike and go in the woods and perform your stunts in there. Not out here where I can see him. Anything you say, Gray. He's gonna jump it. Yo, they got money. Yo, that's a big house. Dinner's almost ready, but maybe you'd like a little dessert first. Oh, God. I thought you were your dad. <laughs> do you have to go home already? I do. A little attitude adjustment. Blue, get back to the other side. Blue! <laughs> hey! Sorry, your mother. Get back my bike, you thief. Oh my thief. Who's sitting right there? It's not Steven. Yeah. This fucking blue kid just seems like a piece of shit already i know he's a troubled kid but wow that was, he just goes into someone's yard and takes the bike and says he's not stealing Just here checking up on your son's progress send in your new address tomorrow all right so quick note bill allen there i think that's his name he plays the main character in the movie rad and i think that's just a cool little like easter egg in case you didn't know that Next time you try to hide something from me, maybe you should make sure I don't find out about it. Have you ever made one 
dollar from riding. And I'm gonna win it one week from today. I'm sure it would be a shame if you fell. As much as I hated to admit it, a part of me knew that they were right. I thought that HOD was the only thing that could redeem me. I was 26 and time was- Yeah, look at that. Venues and dates, Seattle, Washington. I could have competed. I could have competed back then when I was 13. Last year, I finally had my first opportunity to become pro. But I blew it before I even had my shot. Good. Wait, so I'm a little lost. Where are we in the timeline right now? I need to go back. I was 26 and time was running out. Ooh, ooh, I didn't hear that line earlier. I'm 26 and I feel like my time's running out. Well, I'm almost 26. I'm almost 26 and I feel like my time's running out. Do you see my 360 tape? Pretty good, but- Pretty bad. Really? One of these? No, it's one of these. Yeah. <laughs> it's you, man. I got the new t-shirt design in, what do you think? Yeah, it's sweet. Nice. Caddy Woods Trails, bro. My favorite place in the world. The motivation behind it is lame. The corporate attitude is lame. You're a sellout. Oh, I'm a sellout. Oh, really? Can you please explain to me why I'm a sellout? HOD contest. You're in it. This is like actually a pretty good portrayal of like how I think a lot of BMXers see making any sort of money at all. Especially back then in like the 2010s, before social media was as big, before YouTube was really a thing for anyone. If you made money in like any way, people would just call you out because it's not, because it's not pure or whatever. I don't know, I think it's pretty stupid. When your family doesn't support you and your friends think that you're not pro material, you have to convince yourself otherwise. I just needed an adrenaline boost to get me psyched to do it. And I couldn't think of anything that has more motivational power than getting chased by the cops. Is there actually like a group of people out there that like they don't really want to ride street They only want to get chased by police because if so, that'd be pretty badass. No, I'm just kidding That'd be it'd be funny, but it'd be really dumb <laughs> He may not have jumped it right then, but he will jump it I think with all the tickets you give to kids on bikes You'd actually be able to afford a real jail. I believe I deserve my phone call my parents will be coming to pick me up you're like a son to me. And I've bent over backwards for you many times, and you know I have. And I got some bad news for you. Mom and Dad are not giving you a get-out-of-jail-free card. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what is he doing? What is that? This is kind of confusing for me. I can't tell if this is him dreaming about the contest or if it's actually happening right now and he's missing it. They keep flashing back to the contest. And isn't he supposed to be hurt? Isn't that what they said earlier? Why did you violate your probation? I guess I forgot. Mr. Cooper, I hereby order you to perform 300 hours of service at the Calvary Youth Center every afternoon for 45 days. Next case, please. Has anyone ever gone through something like that? Having to serve community service after riding street? I haven't, because I'm just a freaking little park guy, but let me know if that's happened to you. Oh, okay. Gangsta? I don't even want to know about the contest. Doyle won. 25 grand, baby. Ah! Dang, so it did happen. What? What happened to his crash? It's so, this is so confusing. Look at this. Hope we say goodbye to that thing. I go pick that lock with a ballpoint pen. <laughs> <laughs> I need to rewatch that. I go pick that lock with a ballpoint pen. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> May I help you? I have community service hours. You might not be man enough to handle the work. Personally, I've got my money on that guy down there. <laughs> I am not gonna mop these floors. Hey, can't you see I'm trying to clean in here? You're not much of a janitor, you know that? Dude just pissed straight into the shower with a smirk on his face. I mean, he knew, right? Like, he knew that his bike was gonna be messed with. Those kids said it straight to him, like, right in front of him, multiple times. Bike. I'm surprised the bike is even still there. I'm gonna pick that lock with a ballpoint pen. Hey, Janitor boy, little help? Why don't you tell the kid who threw it to come get it? 
Come on, man. The ball's right in front of you. Just help. He's going to throw it at him. Come on, man. Check your attitude. I mean, to be fair, he's just working there. Like, he doesn't really have an obligation to toss the ball back. And he's, he's kind of being a jerk about it. But this coach sucks. Ugh. Just clean those. Nice work. Thanks. Sweet, sweet revenge. I'd probably do the same thing. I was invited to replace an injured rider in the next Heroes of Dirt contest, right in my own city, with seven weeks to train. I will be there, thank you. What are you trying to pop wheelies, homie? Yeah, I got a little tip for you. Don't pedal. So how am I supposed to stay up? Get over the back end of your bike, use your knees to balance. I swear, if he just figures out the manual, like no problem at all, it's gonna be so ridiculous. I've been riding for so long and I still suck at manuals. Like this, that, you're natural. How old do you ride this? I think that was my dad's in the 80s. That bike is not from the 80s. Ah uh, yes, the pallet jump. And it doesn't do it. See that blue kid? I want him to be his mentor. Hey man, you wanna ride? Nah, I'm cool. You sure about that? I got a bike rack. It's not like I'm a pervert or anything. Come on, throw it on. <laughs> Why would you say that? Yo, this is me. Right here. Oh, just hang here. Huh? Ma. It's blue. Give me an oxy. Last one. Hmm. Alright, that's actually pretty sad. Like, Mom obviously has got something going on with her. And Blue's getting her what she wants. But pocketing some of it. Ugh, the whole thing's kind of sad and messed up, honestly. What's going on, baby blue? You don't hear me? Hi, you bitch. Jeez. Who's that? Who is that guy? Bob's. He's a dumbass boyfriend. Stay want? alive. Take care. Maybe I'm just reading too much into this, but so there was no reason for Finn to actually go in the house and see what's going on with Blue's personal life. Hmm. Yo, where are we going? This is Caddy Woods Trails, bro. My favorite place in the world. What? You said the same thing as me? Unreal. I don't know if I could clear these jumps, you know? <laughs> Definitely not with this griddle you got going on here, man. <laughs> Look at Amber in that thing. <laughs> Isn't a grill like, not an, it's not a necklace, right? Isn't it like in your teeth? Before you put it in the wheelbarrow, why don't you go ahead and take a lick of it, make sure it tastes good. Bro? Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. Stupid. <laughs> Halfway through my community service, and it was looking like the last part would be a piece of cake. Blue is in my territory now. Oh, God. <laughs> Same. What's up with your dad? I haven't seen him in a while. I'm gonna pay him a visit. Over here. Oh, that's not what I was expecting. Shot in the head on his way home from work. I'll be back, right? Eh? Mason. There are four in this bag. How can I trust you to even handle large packages if you can't even handle the small ones, huh? There you go. Oh, yeah. no, not Come blue. Nah, 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 nah. Hey, <laughs> let him go. Hey, uh, 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 my friend. Dude, hit me with a stick. Dude, hit me with a stick. Uh. You boys have a nice day today. How about that? Let's Watch go. Back. <sighs> oh, blue. Poor kid. Looking out for someone else was definitely new territory for me. All I really knew what to teach a kid were writing skills and to stay away from places that were a bust. Okay, so so far in the movie, Finn has wanted to compete in a contest, ended up in jail, so he couldn't even go see the contest, ended up doing community service. Now he's mentoring Blue, reluctantly it seems, but he's giving him another shot. What can go wrong, you know? As long as Blue just doesn't mess anything up, everything's gonna go smoothly. Blue turned out to be more than just an obligation. He became a friend, and just like any other riding buddy, it was time to inspire him to go bigger, push it harder, and to get his skill. Yo, that's the incline club. What a throwback. He took my advice every step of the way, and it felt pretty good having someone look up to me. Kinda like the little brother I never had. 
I was friends with the best BMX stunt team on the planet. Why not give him an experience he'll never forget? All right, Paul, you said you wanted to get out there and put some people and show what to do. We got about 15,000 tonight. You ready to get out there and show them what's up? You can do this. Yeah. You can do this. It's gonna be a backflip. It's gonna be a backflip, isn't it? Pretty insane to do in, in front of a 50,000 person crowd on a racetrack. <laughs> That's not what I was, <laughs> I was not expecting that. Okay, what? Okay, they showed him at the foam pit doing tuck no handers, but for the show he does a suey. Interesting stuff here. Is that on purpose? Or did they like forget? And was that him or was it a stunt double? Well, well, well. If it isn't our little boy blue. Ah, who would have expected it? Not me. I wouldn't have. I would have. Give him my bike. No, 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 no. You see, this is how it works, kid. We gave you a couple of 20 spots, and you are gonna give us your little bike there. I really don't like this guy. I just want to punch him in the face. Doesn't he have a punchable face? Leave a comment below if you think he has a punchable face. Hey, Steve. You seen blue? Nah, man. He didn't show up today. Those spikes look kind of funny. Something about them. Hmm. Yo, where you been? I've been out and about. Yo, you think you could do me a favor? I left my bike at a friend's. Be back in a minute. All right? We got a lot to do here. What the? Oh my god, Blue, no, you're so dumb. You didn't even lift the bike up. You have a cassette, it makes noise. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, back to the movie. Oh, you're just so sti- Okay, okay, we're going back. Mm. And you didn't even get the bike back. Yo, yo, where's your bike at? What's up with the bandana? Oh, oh, oh. We just got shot at. And bullets can't stop us, baby. You realize they knew it was us, right? I was disguised, oh, all right? You were disguised. I, disguised. I know Blue's just a kid, but I don't think I like him right now. He's kind of a big dummy. I'm sorry, I thought I'd get away with it. They stole my bike and Shut up! Listen, we can't hang anymore. Hey, Finn. Do you have any drug deals with Blue? Drug deals? You dudes. might want to use a more inconspicuous scooter. Are you serious, really? Finn, it looks like you took him there. That's a felony. Really? Come on. You just give me a break here for a second. Uh, I mean, I kind of, I'm kind of feeling for Finn right now, honestly. Like, he's like, dude, I've just been doing what the lady told me to do. I'm mentoring this kid, doing my best. I thought he was just picking up a bike. Dude, I'd be pretty, like, look at him. He's just, he's just so drained. I'd be so drained too. You got in the bag, baby, bro. Oh, Nina. Yeah. Check out what little boy Blue brought us. Why don't you just start doing this? Don't get down tonight. Oh man, that's not where I thought that was going. Now I feel kind of bad for him again. Like, oh, I know he's a, he's a stupid kid, but oh, that's rough. That's so rough. Your mom's boyfriend sucks. Some worlds were never meant to collide. I had to refocus on the most important part of mine. And we're at back at the end of Even if I got seriously injured or even killed, it was a risk I was willing to take. I feel just like a big dummy. When did they establish that he moved out? When did that happen? I, I know it happened earlier in the movie, but I don't remember them actually saying it though, or showing that he moved out. Do you have to go home already? Maybe after he went to jail? Your uh, mom and I had a heart to heart, and we both want you to be happy. You guys can come to the contest. I mean, well, yeah. Yeah, we can do that, champ. First time competitor at the Heroes of Dirt competition. <laughs> Woo! Let's go, Finn. Okay, three over the first set. Turn down the next one. Oh, a little, a little straight air. 270 on the berm. Another turn down. Didn't he just do a turn down? Okay, no foot hands. Pretty sick. Kid just can't catch a break. Ugh. Okay, I feel back to feeling bad for Blue. Hey, Finn. It's Blue. He's in trouble. In the middle of something important right now. Well, then you better get out of it. Blue is going to get hurt. Really bad. Like for a BMX movie, this is insane. Rad wasn't like this. Not that I remember, at least. 
I'm gonna need a couple hours. Do I sound like I have a couple of hours? I knew it was gonna start getting intense at the end, but not this intense. Imagine Blue just dies, like Finn's like, oh, I'm actually just gonna win the contest, and then he and then he wins, but then then someone dies, and then people feel bad. That would suck. I don't know what he did, but if I don't help him, he's dead. Why is that your problem, though? This guy right here, this guy's like, so what if a life is lost? Just ride your bike, win. You tell the judges I'll be back by finals, okay? Ah, oh, this is this is kind of hurting me. You don't just come back to finals. You have to qualify and then go to finals. Yo, Finn! Oh, what's this, your crew? I just thought we might need a little extra help. You made the finals. You gotta be on the platform at eight o'clock sharp. Eight o'clock, you got it. Come on, let's go, man. Right? There was a slight complication. We're still coming. It's just he's bringing a few boys from his crew. I feel like this guy right here is not the smartest. I'm just gonna leave it at that. It's in the bedroom. How do we get in? Well, it's a costume party. You ready for this? Huh? <laughs> oh, no. What the hell are you doing here? Dude, somebody told me I could get mad toast in here. No, 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 no,